those of you that film by yourself, you'd know all about the run up and run back on the tracks. Most of my trips are by myself. That's just how we do it. Catch those shots. G'day, how you all going? So I am back up on the Murray River. It's the maiden trip with the camper trailer. So if you want to check out what I've done with the old trailer there, I'll uh, pop a link up in the description here on the video here as well. You can check out that video, but up on the Murray, it's mid-September. It's about 24, 25 degrees this weekend. So I thought I'd just shoot up here for the night and uh, set up camp on the river. Those who have been following me for a while know that I uh, Quite enjoy coming up camping on the Murray. Looking forward to uh, trying out the new setup. I don't think I'll worry about the awning on the car or anything tonight. So all these spots here where these campsites were, these are all underwater back in the floods, which were fairly recent. Um, looks like it's recovering well. It's pretty good access in here, just have a little bit of ground clearance, but you get a car in here in dry conditions as well. All right, so now I've got all the tent set up. I'm just gonna pop in the uh, poles for the windows so I can pop those open.
All right, just kicking back. We've just been for a bit of a walk down around the river. Does a bit of a loop around the site we're here. And if you go down the other way, there's a uh, bit of an access through one of the fences down there. Didn't head down there, but yeah, just a bit of a loop around and uh, just pop the billy on. Those that saw my last trip video would have seen my Makona in a packet. This time I'll make sure I definitely give it a good stir. Last time I had it, had a bit of a clump in it and it's not ideal. So yeah, got the stove on. Scouts are sound asleep there just under the trailer in the shade. And uh, yeah, very relaxing. Every now and then give it a breeze through, but perfect weather. So there we go, so I'll be using the um, fire pit again. And look at the clock there, it almost took just as long to set that up as it did the camper, but um, I'll be using that tonight, I think, to cook on. I bought some wood from home again, but yeah, look at it, just doing a simple dinner last time, just having a uh, veggies in a can. I'll heat that up on there and a bit of schnitzel. I reckon that ought to do it tonight, nice and easy one. Are you chewing my firewood? All right, so it's five o'clock now, so I'm gonna light the fire now. It's gonna be dark, probably probably about 10 past six or so. So I'll get the fire going and then I'll uh, start thinking about getting dinner going. So that's some of the wood there I bought from home and I have got bits and pieces from just around the ground here. <laughs> And anyway, the panic alarm works on my key. Come here, Scout. Come here. Oi. So as I was saying, that was the panic alarm. Oi. It's all right. She doesn't bark often, but when she does, you can uh, definitely hear it. All right, fire's lit, and uh, we'll get this single pot, one can uh, dinner underway pretty soon. Just build some coals up. Good girl, it's okay. Right, so it's time to cook some dinner. So since I last spoke, it's now like quarter to six. The caravan's pulled in down the other end there and there's another camp down by the river. And there's just some people walking some dogs and whatever else around. So it's sort of this time of night, just before dinner, there's a few people out and about. But the wind, it wasn't really windy, it was just like a pretty good breeze earlier. That's dropped right off. The sun's just dropping below the uh, horizon. It's not far now, probably another 15 minutes and that'll be gone. And it... All the corallas and the glass have just been uh, making a bit of a ruckus. It's one thing I really like about ca camping up here on the Murray, you get all the bird life. 
particularly tomorrow morning they'll be up and out and about everywhere so I've got my lights hooked up by the car because the trailer has no power to it so other than the uh, tail lights so the power's on there and uh, time to warm up the skillet and get that uh, can on the fire start cooking some dinner so the, the skillet I use on the fire is from Campfire Australia it's a um, 26 centimeter skillet that's it there so it's had quite a bit of use as you can see works really well so I'll just sit that on the side there and I'll uh, get that um, schnitzel on in a moment and cook that up first and then I'll just pop the can on there doesn't take much to warm that up These are the stitzels, got the good, well the good, the good packet ones anyway, so I'll just pop those in there now, cook those up, got a little bit of flame there, but there's plenty of heat generated there, so I'll have those with some veggies, got a bit of lettuce there as well, and a bit of mayo. Alright, so dinner's almost ready now. Um, I'll have that. I probably won't feel much more tonight and then tomorrow morning I'll um, end up having to pack up and head home. Like I said earlier, it's about oh, 600k return trip from where I live up to here. But uh, definitely well worth it. Can you see those birds, Scout? Is that the birds? So, um, yeah, anyway, dinner's almost ready and then we will uh, kick back by the fire and uh, have a nice night. Hopefully it stays nice and still tonight. Nice and relaxing and uh, have a good night's sleep. First night in the, uh, the new setup. Good morning. So it's about 10 to 7 now on the Sunday morning. Got up at about just after 6, maybe about 10 past 6 or so. Went for a walk. I've got the fire going. I'm about to pop the billy on there and have a coffee and um, some pancakes. And the dogs are ready to go again. So we both ended up sleeping up in the rooftop tent last night. It was a perfect night up there. Not a cloud in the sky. Nice and still. Hang on a sec. And um, yeah, so it'll be a pretty chill morning this morning. As you can hear, the birds are going off. That started about oh, quarter past five, or oh, 5.30 this morning. The glass and the corellas. There's a nest actually just up in the tree up here behind me, I think, so that's what it was. And throughout the night, it was just a chorus of frogs. A lot of frogs around. There's still a little bit of low-lying water over behind the camp there, so. Lots of frogs. I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of mozzies coming out in the next few weeks as well up here, but so far so good.
as usual, as usual, keeping it pretty simple. The old uh, shaker pancake mix for brekkie this morning. Right, eh? Let's see how this goes. When I was young, my daddy said, gotta keep one eye open in your bed. Cause there's a time coming when the devil goes. Alright, so I'm just about to start packing up now. I've got most of it sort of packed up, but one thing that's um really good about this this setup is um I can fold it up with the pillow and stuff left in it, but it's pretty easy to um So I don't have to climb in. I can just grab the pillow and doona straight out of the uh, side of the tent there. So I reckon that's pretty good. So I'll just start of um, taking the guy ropes off the other end where the awning drops over. So I've got this bag here which came with the tent. So I'll just go around and start taking off all the poles there for the windows. And that lives in the space case that's on the front of the camper there. So everything's got its spot. So if it was a rainy day or anything, pretty much everything's packed up in there and I can just pop it straight in there. And then the table I've got sitting here first thing out and last thing in when I end up packing up so all the stuff's on there so I've put the table there and when I'm finished I'll lift the side up and pop the uh, stuff inside the trailer that has to go in there which normally that all squeezes into the uh, FJ. Also got the treads holder. So that was on the back of the GU on the spare door, on the uh, behind the spare tire there on the carrier. Um, when I sold the GU, I took it off and I've mounted it to the side of the uh, trailer there. So if I never need that and leveling up and stuff, they're there. They're pretty hammered and broken and stuff anyway, but they'll do the job. Um, right, time to pack up this ladder. And this little extension here that also lives just in there and I need this back out just to drop those poles out of the uh, the awning bit of the tent so the pack up's not that exciting but I'll sort of give you a quick look and just while I'm doing this scouts just um, sitting on the ground there so we've been out throwing the ball a fair bit this morning up and down the road but just when we're sitting around camp here I just leave her tied up there's been a couple of people run through with their dogs and stuff like that and Last thing you want's dogs going out. She's she's really good, but there is some wallabies and rabbits and stuff around in here as well. But she's quite content, rolled uh, sitting there tied up. She's got a nice long rope. It's quite long. She's got her food and water there if she wants it. But uh, yeah, I do keep her tied up a bit just around camp. She won't really wander, but yeah, just keeps her uh, keeps her here. But she'll just sit there. She's very chilled, tied up. Unless I'm talking to you guys, which you would have heard her carrying on a bit, but. She's pretty done now. She's uh, been up for a bit and we've been going crazy. Stop digging all the dust up.
right, so I've all packed up, all hooked on. Dog's in the car, everything's in the trailer. Weekend's coming to a close, time to make the big trip back home. But uh, thanks so much for watching. Any questions, or if you've had a, or got a Hannibal tent, let me know as well. And I'll uh, see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.